right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 2. Going to Ilium today. Hello. All right. Had to check to make sure everything was working right, it is, so... So here we go, now well, we need to talk to some people. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my... Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Okay. And we need to go see... Garant. Okay. Erd not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. All right. Now Grunt's all satisfied. So now... I do want to check on Tally. Keela, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. All right. You could always check on Jack. See what she wants, if anything. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. 
Right? I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these. When I was starting out, I re they helped me into the. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Okay. Never bothered with friends after that. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. <laughs> Poon Hound Shepherd strikes again. Well, what? Right now, then? All right, Jack. I like how you move. I bet you do. Come here. Poon Hound Shepherd strikes again. <laughs> Shepherd struck again. <laughs> no messages for you, Commander. No, well, actually, there are. Here's one from Shaman. Hey, it's awesome that you killed that Thresher Maw, but, um. I'm so glad you have Grunt on your team. Oh, I saw you, little bastard. And here's from the Admiralty Board on um, in the Migrant Fleet. Oh, things got a little heated, but thank you for taking back our ship and Tally's all yours. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Okay. Time for Ilium. Well, actually, we'll have to, um, explore, well, no, well, yeah, we will. We'll need to explore the nebula. Excuse me. That was coming for a while. Okay. So, I will be back when I either find a mission or go to Ilium. I need credits, so that's why I'm looking for, um, missions. So I'll be back if I find one.
There's one right here. How are we on resources? We could use some platinum. Alright. The blood pack are doing something. So I want to get grunts set up all done. That's why we'll get him out. We'll do that. Well, it wouldn't matter anyway, so... There we go! Okay. Max level in this game is 30. I don't know why I'm getting lagged so damn bad, but I am. Oh, I know this one. What happened here? You follow the beacons. The beacon takes you to the dig site and all that. This atmosphere is toxic. You don't really need to hit these, um... Trouble! Damn it, why am I getting lag? At 30 FPS, it should not be getting lag. But it is, and I don't understand why. What left? So something went wrong here and they don't know what. Whatever fight happened here, it was recent. I'm looking for eclipse. I knew there was something there. I knew there was something there. There we go. You're up. There. 
that. Another data pad. Hey, a clip. I'll use that. So the blood pack couldn't handle the crawlers. They were getting their asses eaten and killed by the crawlers. I, I always fall for that. There's an extra way to go over here. And I believe there's items over here too. Raw material, I'll take it. There we go. Beacon. All right. Which we head back down. I'm not wasting ammo. I'm not wasting ammo at all. Where the hell are you going? Oh, we have more... Damn it, this fucking lag is killing me. I keep missing shots because of it. Why am I getting lag? I shouldn't be getting lag at 30 FPS. This is why I set my games as low as they can go. So I'm not dealing with this horse shit. you my ass I just did asshole all right nothing else here there we go So we finally got to level 30, max level. Never understood why they set the max to 30 on in this game, but they did. All right. Check the messages. All right, Cerberus Command found a um blood pack facility so they want us to take it out and then um, the scout we found in the um, warlock camp that we saved he's like oh thanks for um, getting my ass out of there I'm now fucking the females
So anyway, I'll be back when I find another mission. Here we go, here's one. Detective Corbin, all units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion protocol. Repeat, unidentified ship detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion protocol. Launching probe. Scans have found something. Okay. A mercenary. We haven't brought out Zaid in a while, so let's bring him out. Excuse me. Okay. There it is. Oh, it's just shipping log. Alright. Back that way, but let's check over here. Nothing? Alright. Whoa! Whips! <laughs> There. Take care of him. Take care of him. Starting an impact gun. Got her. There, bitch. Oh, I know this one. We're just here to kill the Eclipse, aren't we? Alright. Bypass this storm, we'll have more Eclipse to kill. Okay. Well, this was a civilian base, and the Eclipse came, took it over. So we're here to kill the Eclipse. Yeah. I got it. Okay, we gotta get rid of you. Boom! They moved on me. There, I got him. Got him, too.
Okay. <clears throat> Not really in that great of a shot. There we go. Dude, this lag is killing me. This lag is killing me. I don't know why the fuck I am having so much trouble with this lag. There. We do the bridge. That kit. That all that's here. Looks like it. Okay, when I found that thing, I should have just hacked it. I should have just hacked it. That should... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a shipping log and encrypted data. So let me, yeah, let me guess. Now we have more Eclipse. Nice ah, he got in my way. Uh, Miranda, if you wouldn't have knocked her back, I'd have had her headshot. I need ammo, I need it badly. God, I am having a terrible time tonight. I am. <laughs> okay. We can get out of here now. <laughs> 15,000 more credits. We needed that. We need all the credits we can get right now before we get to Ilium, so you know, I'm going to be looking for missions and doing missions just so I can get all the money I can. Nothing? Alright. Okay.
okay? So now we can head this way. Fill up on fuel. All right. We'll go to the Shrike Abyssal. And we'll have to explore planets out here too. So I'll be back when we get to the next mission. We're ready to take out the blood pack base. Here we go. Um, we'll bring out Tally. Why not? Okay. There you go, Tally. Better pistol for you. But because of that, I'm gonna have to put on the fucking ammo power again. I am detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Oh, this is nothing but a maze. Pretty much the um, blood pack aren't happy with the people that they've got because they're terrible shots. Enemies in front. I had him one. There we go. They went down. Well, Tally went down anyway. Uh oh. Get 
take that. Enemy death knife. Kick him in the head, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, and I I remember this one. You we're blowing up the base is what we're doing. Okay. So we need to blow these. One down. Incoming. Okay, I'm not in a good spot here. your way okay I'm not in a good spot here I'm not in a good spot here there we go nothing's faster than fatigue of off pause Ugh. interesting let's take a closer look oh we are we just need to blow these up. Come on, we need to leave. Run, run, run. I'll take it. We got a heavy weapon ammo upgrade for it too. Nice. All right, let's check the unread messages. Nothing. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. No, we haven't. I just checked. Heavy weapons. Now I get even more ammo for my heavy weapons. All right. So, we have now completely explored the galaxy thus far. We still don't have a lot of money, but that's okay. We're now going to Ilium. I promise we're going to Ilium this time. Unless we find a mission out here that we have to do. And there we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do Miranda's loyalty mission. So, we haven't taken Katsumi out in a while, so let's get her out. There we go. Astra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? 
The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, we will. Customs records indicate a Justicar named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Okay. A Batarian trading group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Pardon me. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No, I, I, I understand. Okay. 25. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend Anavaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Okay. There's Parasini, but we'll deal with her later. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. Okay. I could use tech damage. It's valuable. The bypass. Take it. There. We'll just buy the upgrades. But we won't deal with uh, Parasini yet. She's from the first game. I'll explain later when we do work with her. But why am I going there? I don't need to go there. I need to go this way. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. 
Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Oh, look who it is! I'm a man on the edge! I got nothing to lose! Uh -huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. I don't have time for this, Werner. Get out of here and stop causing trouble. Oh, so that's how it is? Nobody can get the job done but you? You just wait, Shepard. I'll show you. I'll show you. Poor little dumbass. Wait, wasn't there a one to talk to in here? Or maybe it's on the other side. Okay. So now, for some reason, they want us to talk to a weapon merchant on the other side of Ilium. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. All right. You want to listen to that, too, because um, it'll unlock a mission for later. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. You're sure Gateway Weapons and Arm? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep. What do you want? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but... For something permanent. Krogans live long lives. Ice. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. 
because of the genophage? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. All right. I want the fishies and the ships. Those are just decorations. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Ooh. Amplifier blo plates. I could use those. And this is the rest of the, um, this is the rest of the upgrades, so I need a lot of money. <laughs> For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. Adam. Shepard. I, I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay. So we'll deal with this. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? Not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilian's contract analyst should look it over. 
You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. That's how you deal with that. And we are gonna get all the star charts. Alright. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia though. I feel like I need a shower. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... <clears throat> Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Okay. Well, we got all that dealt with. Now we can go deal with Miranda's problem. So just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. All right, so now we head upstairs to deal with... Do you have anything flashier? Well, actually, no. No, 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 we can deal with Gianna Parsini-san now. I own you. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Okay. 
Now we need to go talk to the Asari merchant. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. <laughs> I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Okay. So, the stuff is still here. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. How long were you after this woman? A few weeks, plus transit time. Not nearly as long as Analeas. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Okay. If this is the best now we'll deal with um, Miranda's problem. Those Australians recently received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessica. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell, isn't it? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine. But you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Okay. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Okay, so we haven't taken Jack out in a long while, so we'll take her out.
Which means I'll have to put on the ammo power again, god damn it. That's okay. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Excuse me! Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell in your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you... Ah, Jack didn't have her gun in her hand! Wow! They've seen us. And all of them? Looks like it. <laughs> That's why I love engineers, and I think they ought to have um, sniper rifles. <laughs> ah. Nice job. Nice job, Jack. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. I can understand choosing to go your own way. But you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. I can understand choosing to go your own way. If you way. knew my... F I was brought up with no friend. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. On the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. I'm not in a good spot. All right. Yeah. Enemies, 
Nice job, Jack. Taking all those guys out. Yeah, I can't get any shots here. Overload. Very nice. <clears throat> I need ammo. Nothing else over here, no. I'm just checking for items, which don't look like there are any, okay? Take that meta gel. Now what's this? I'll take that submachine gun damage. All right, boom. Destroy you. Better destroy him. All right. I mean you. I meant you. There we go. Not that one. God, her right when she was going down. Uh. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Nice job, Jack. See, Shockwave's a good one for Jack. She is quite the biotic user. She really is, man. Why we got some nookie from her. This is valuable. Nice, we got another meta gel capacity upgrade. And that one was for free. <laughs> Ooh, security terminal. We can hack this. Get some money, looks like. One. Two. Three. All right. Marks. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Got him. Thank you. Divert everyone except my guard from the kit. I'll handle him and the kid personally. Jeff, not letting her get Ariana. Sometimes these aim small, miss small. There we go. Hostile combat drone. There. There, got him too. There, get rid of the two bitches. One last. Boom. 
Ah, <laughs> damn right, right there. We can cut down through the cargo line. We will. We're just checking for items. Getting clips too, cause we need them. Ooh, PDA. We need to hack for some money. We need every bit of it. We need every bit of it we can get. Nice. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Ah. I got it. Boom, bitch. Nice one. Oh, I was a little over. There we got him. That was pretty cool how Jack sent that um, canister flying with her shockwave. That was fucking awesome. I didn't know you could do that with shockwave. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. <laughs> Niket. You sold me out. Not many civilians around. We can end this here and now. Not before I get some answers. Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If Niket knows about Oriana... And your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. 
So was I. On our right! Here we go! Get ready to burn! Watch for the drone! Okay, I'm not in a good spot here. I need to get rid of her. Nice job. Ugh. Oh, but we took her out with a melee. <laughs> that was funny. Smokes near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. We will. There's that trinket that that Asari was talking about. But we want to check for items here. You never know; they may hide some more. I mean, here's the secure terminal. Get 3,000 credits. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human. Just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. But he just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. You did what you had to do, Miranda. You're not responsible for his death. Of course I am. But it's not my fault. It's not even the cats, really. My father takes the blame. For all of this. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook. An angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except the cat. Weakness on my part? You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? Yeah, that's a good point. I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Alright. Now we finally got Miranda's um, quest done. But I'm going to unfortunately have to call it for this video because I had to do all those side missions and 
all that, so this video will be like two, three hours if I keep going, so a lot of my problem is too, I get so stiff. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Damn right we will. Touch me and I will smear the water with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. My opinion is the one that matters. You two keep a deck apart at all times. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She'll jeopardize the whole mission. If we survive this, you two can tear each other apart. Until then, save your hate for the Collectors. She'll survive. I'll make sure of it. Then, I'll tear you apart myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. All right. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket. I'm glad I got to take him out myself. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. All right, so I'm going to just go to the next deck and get the save, and then I'll call it for this video. So, hope you all had fun on this um, episode. I sure did. You know, that was so much fun dealing with Miranda's problem. And I'll just see you all in the next episode.